Um, anything up with Alex Kappa? He's getting evaluated for a core muscle deal. Could keep him out a couple weeks. Um, but, but nothing I'm really concerned. Did you do that yesterday or last week? Uh, or? He's, he's out there today and yesterday. From an, injury, oh, yeah. from an injury standpoint, do you expect T. Higgins and Joseph Osai and Logan Wilson to all be able to be on track to start training camp? Yeah, I think it's that's about the timeline that we're we're looking at. You know, it's you don't want to make a prediction on May May twenty fourth, um, but I, I think that there's there's a possibility that all works out for them. And then yesterday, um, it was announced that you guys were going to have joint practices with the Rams yep. before the preseason game. Uh, why did you want to do that? And are you excited for what you're going to be able to get out of those two I am. I think we're at a good point here um, where the guys are comfortable in their systems, and so it's going to be a great opportunity during training camp. We have a normal training camp finally. Uh, to get some work against another opponent. Probably as we keep going forward, we're playing our starters less and less in the actual games. So I think the joint practices provide a good opportunity to control the practice, manufacture some situations that you can't always manufacture in the games, get good work against a really good opponent that uh, we've obviously got a lot of familiarity with, our coaching staff, and so to manage the practices, we feel really good about that. So I think it'll be a good opportunity for our guys. How important was that, the relationship with Sean McVay? That's important. I, you know, I, I think every time I've ever done it, I always – uh, the head coach has always had, had good relationships and um, were able to manage their teams and know how to practice the right way. We, we know what we're going to get from them from a practice structure-wise. They know how ours is, so it's not um, different philosophies in terms of how we practice. So I, I think it'll be good for both clubs. When you have a player like Jackson Carmen and knowing how training him in preseason has kind of changed, if you're just saying, you know, they don't play that much in the preseason, what do you need to see from him in the offseason and through training camp to – for him to resume that starting spot. Well, I, I think there's still plenty of opportunity for guys. Um, you know, maybe Joe Burrow's not playing as much, but but there's other guys that you want to put in the situations where they got to take some reps. Um, we'll evaluate who that is, but but I think for second year offensive linemen, they've had one year in the NFL. They get a really chance to see how physical it is, how fast it is, how different it is. Um, and so the second training camp is really a big deal for not only Jackson, but but Trey Hill and Deontay and all those all those second year guys. And so. Really excited to see that group um, of guys that we drafted last year take that next step here in offseason and in training camp. That was easy.